There's another bike. There's another bike. All right. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. And we are at a special, special beach in Huntington Beach, actually. I'm out here for work and uh, I'm off now. Came to grab a bite to eat real quick and then decided to hit the beach real quick before I head back to my hotel. So I'm gonna see about getting out here the three days that I'm out and see if I can do it. See if I can put some fish on the board finally. It's been a long time, guys, <laughs> since I got to go out and do something. And this is my first time at this beach and my first time getting a look at it. I have no clue what I'm walking myself into. It is windy. Um, I believe it is, it's almost six o'clock. So I still got, you know, a little bit of time for the sun goes down. But uh, I believe it's incoming tide right now. Um, almost high tide. And I think high tide peak is going to be like at four or five foot. And wave power is a little bit up. It's it's in the 500s. Uh, being that it's windy, I went ahead and tied on a Carolina rig with a three quarter ounce weight to start off. Um, and I do have a 805 Salty Ripper on there. So I'm just getting up to the beach now. All right, guys. So I got to the beach here. Never been here, like I said. This is right off of uh, Beach Boulevard in Huntington Beach. My hotel is only like three, three miles up the road. So right off the bat, water looks clean. Uh, it actually looks like there's a nice trough going all the way across right here. I don't see any waves breaking in front of me. I got a wave on my left here that's breaking up close. Got another wave breaking right here. So it looks if I, like if I can get a little bit out past this little front breaker here, I'll be in a nice deep trough right here that goes all the way across. But uh, we're just gonna have to scope it out, try it and, and try to read the beach, you guys. and. See if we can find some holes. Like I said, I'm native. I'm not native to this area, so I, I don't know what to expect, what to catch. So, but like I said, I got the 805 Salty Ripper tied on for uh, for this one. I did bring my Hawaiian Custom. I left my 903 at home. That way, with this rod and reel set up, I can uh, switch over back and forth. If I get some good weather one day, I can throw a you know, a jerk bait or something. It's like the Huntington Beach Pier right over there. So if you guys know this area, if you guys think, oh man, he's in a crap area or whatever. But like I said, I don't know the area guys. So I'm gonna get, looks like, so it looks like I got a sandbar right here in front of me. You can see the waves breaking. It's breaking, it's breaking. And it comes all the way down. So I'm gonna go left to this sandbar right here and see if I can cast out far enough to the left of it and uh, work that. But anyways, here we go, you guys. First cast. It looks deep no matter what. So here we go, first cast. Ah. Didn't get as far as I want. I don't see any debris in the water. We got tons of dolphins out jumping right in front of me. Not that far out, neither. Yeah, dolphins are right there. Maybe about... 100 yards out just diving i don't know if there's bait out there and they're chasing it but they're just diving back and forth back and forth so but yeah just kind of scoping the beach out you guys and uh see if i can uh spot some holes and some troughs and try to work them but we'll get out there uh hope work this beach for maybe an hour or so maybe a little bit longer street fence so hopefully we get one guys just got hammered right now big pool my bait still looks all right Let's see if i can hit it in that same spot 
nice big tug right here. Let's see if I can get into them again. My buddy Jimmy was fishing this area last well, well, it was a couple weekends back with a couple of the Honey Badger Slayer guys and caught some nice ones up here. I'm not sure if it was this beach, but I know he was up in Huntington Beach and he got some nice, uh, some nice fish. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for when I'm up here. I'm not asking to slay them, but you know, a couple nice ones here and there. Would wouldn't hurt you know it's been a while since I've gotten on some fish so let's see if Huntington Beach doesn't let me down water is nice and clean you guys up here last time I fished in our area in Ventura County it was pretty dirty so hopefully this nice clean water Except for the waves being kind of rough, there should be at least some perch around here somewhere. There's a bike. Oh. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna keep at it, guys, and I'll get back at you when we get one here. right there got like a little guy but it's a good sign getting bit guys I'm on I thought I got seaweed and it's something right here at the shore so I don't know if it's a corbina or what but it hit really close to shore i'm pretty sure it's a fish <laughs> i hope it's not a bat ray yeah it is damn it release on that one I wasn't about to mess with the with the bat ray I hate messing with those things so I don't know if I got that on video or not but I got a bat ray <laughs> for the first one so hey anyway, that's better than nothing man for not being able to catch a fish in, in a while I'll take that I'll take it. Get back out there. The sun's going down. Hopefully, it sets off this afternoon bite here. And hopefully, I'm in a nice area now. I kind of worked my way down to the pier a little bit just was seems like I wasn't getting any bites because I was getting bites down here so I started working my way back down and I found the, the section again where I'm getting bites and you just got birds everywhere flying over me so that's just a good sign you see birds flying looking for obviously there's bait in the water so and I'm getting bites so I think we're just gonna stay right here and work this spot all right guys so I switched it up I took the 805 off because it had the tail bitten off and I went ahead and put on a, a geo craw so we're gonna see how that does out here uh, seems like I'm trying to get bit a little bit more the, the more that Sun goes down and the waves look like they're starting to calm down a little bit which is good because it was pretty rough when I came out here so we're gonna go ahead and try out this craw bait 
uh, that I usually have pretty good luck with and uh, go from there and see what we get. Uh, big hit. It's a good size one too. I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel like a perch. If it is, it's a really big one. Yeah, nice size perch, you guys. On the Geo Craw. Probably a 12. Yeah, about 11, but she's, it's a female. So, let's see if I can try to do this without hurting her. having her babies. I gotta get this fish back in the water quick. Alright you guys, so that was one on the board. I had to turn the camera off because I had to get my pliers out from the back of my backpack and it was a pregnant female. I had to get her back in the water quick and try not to hurt her. But yeah, she's good. She went back. Uh, so yeah, but oh yeah, that's a good sign. It wasn't a very big one, it was a fat one, but it wasn't a very big uh, perch. It was probably like, I don't know, an 11, maybe a 12. It just felt really heavy because of the, uh, she was pregnant. So let's see if we can get it. If we're still on them here, maybe there might be some more. But that one uh, took it real hard, man. All right, guys, welcome back again. We're at day two. Day two of uh, fishing Huntington Beach. And I believe this is gonna be my last day fishing here. Cause I'm gonna need to spend tomorrow studying up for a test that I'm going to be taking. So I'm going to take advantage of it today and hit these waters. I'm at a different location. Yesterday I was able to get one perch, which is about 11 inches. As you saw in the last couple of clips. And I got a, a stingray. I didn't get to land it, but it came up shore and it came off right at the end. So, got those in before the sun went down. Um, like I said, this is all new beach to me, so I was trying to work a lot of different areas. Um, I was trying to, it was hard to find holes. The beach was just uh, shallow in one, a lot of spots and the holes were out deep. And the water was just too, the turbulence was just too strong for me to get out there deep enough. So I'm at a different section of the beach. I'm about a, oh, about a mile and a half, two miles more south off of uh, Magnolia here. And uh, yeah, it looks a little bit better than uh, the other beach. Actually, it looks pretty good right here in front of me. I got, it looks like we got a nice hole. A big sandbar breaking well far deep and then uh, a nice cut that comes right in right here so we're gonna go ahead and give this a little try and then uh, probably work our way south a little bit and see what we can get so see you out there all right guys we're out here I've already ran into like five fishermen you guys so this is actually probably gonna be one of the better spots being that there's more fishermen here they obviously know something I don't know but uh, got a lot of cross currents here you guys um, the waves are just going all over the place um, but talking to these locals here there's a lot of perch a lot of corbina here and they usually do pretty well um, some of them are fishing sand crabs though and uh, you know me I always 
I only fish artificial baits pretty much. Um, but they're here. That just tells me the fish are here. And I just got to find them. So, but going to keep working my way down south here. See if I can't run into a school of them. A lot nicer conditions today, you guys, in my opinion. I'm not fighting the wind right now. The wind's a lot calmer than it was yesterday. Which is a plus because it was just blowing my line all over the place. And I bought a th I only bought three quarter ounce weights with me, so trying to fight that wind and only three quarter ounce weights was kind of tough but i was still able to get some fish on the board but uh, today's a lot nicer i'm actually able to get a little bit farther than i did yesterday and it seems that's how it was yesterday it was um the fish were out a little deeper so we're gonna keep hitting it really nice hole it goes from it goes like at least ah it looks like 100 yards wide Real deep drop off right here in front of me. It looks like it's the best I've seen so far. I'm gonna work the whole hole from left to right. Still got that got him bait tied on. Dragging the bottom here. Talking to a few guys, they're saying that they've caught halibut and stuff. There's a bite right there. They've gotten some halibut out of here and stuff. One guy was throwing a lucky craft. But just got my first bite right now. That's a good sign. Real quick hit though. But man, it's rough out here, you guys. I really gotta watch my stepping. I don't wanna get swept on off my feet here and lose my balance. Because then I'll be wet. So I gotta really play this smart. On first fish of the day. Been fishing for about, about 30 minutes or so. Walked the beach quite a bit, ways down, away from all those fishermen, and I got one on. like a nice size perch here there we go and the geo baits the garden baits nice little perch Let's see if we can get into some more here you guys get the release There he goes. All right, that's one on the board. So, so far I'm one for one. I got one yesterday and I'm up one right now. So let's see if we got a school going here. We could do that all day long now. We got pretty much the same conditions as yesterday. About 500 on the, on the strength, wave strength. And, uh, like I said, incoming tide. So, that's right, man. There we go, you guys. That one hit real up close to shore right there. One. Oh, there he goes again on the got him bait you guys i'm gonna stick with it because it's catching fish right now There's no need to change so meeting a lot of locals man they're giving me a really friendly give me a lot of good tips tell me where to go if i do ever decide to come back and i got more time so it's pretty badass man i love guys like that i'm the same way guys that come up to our area you know i'm not i'm not shy to to take them out and and show them you know our area so i'm happy to see people out here in different areas willing to show uh you know non-locals like me you know where to catch fish you know it's 
So that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. On again, real close to shore too. Second one close to shore. you guys on the craw looks like the fight starting to pick up here there you go you guys nice one right there first well guys that's three there you guys so I'm doing freaking a lot better <laughs> today than I did yesterday and and in total so far since coming back to fish since I've been off really fishing for not that long so, you know for about I'm, I'm sorry for about a month now a little over a month so it's nice to get on some fish and keep getting on them you know so and the people like i said the people i've met so far are freaking awesome guys man this guy's over here he's throwing lucky crafts um chasing halibut he says these waters are full of full of uh halibut too um he's actually walking his way towards the jetty he said that's down that way so but i'm i'm gonna stick to sea rigging it i'm not gonna go crazy switching up all these rigs you know um, I don't want to get too far from my truck um, So I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing right now. I'm catching fish There's another bite There's another bite Hold on Oh, it came off That one was real close Tell you what man, this got him baits For as much as for as many bites as I've gotten, and I think I even threw a used one on because I couldn't find one, a brand new one. Man, this thing's holding up. I mean, this thing's got some durability to it, man. It's still holding up. Hasn't torn a, a ligament off it or nothing. Uh, that's pretty, pretty badass, Gio. That was a fish, you guys. Something just jumped straight out of the water about about 80 yards out came straight out of the water i don't know if there's stripers here or not but something decent just flew right out of the water hey right, guys i got the 805 two inch salty ripper on motor oil red this is what i caught a fish on yesterday so let's see if they want see if they wanted the 805 bait out there The 805. Real shallow again. There we go. Oh, get over here, buddy. The 805 salty ripper, you guys. Out there in Huntington Beach. He's in the 805s. Go. Release. Still looking for that really big one though guys. Looking for that 12 plus. These are probably all been in the tens. So but they're still fun to catch, you know. Guys, I know I said I wasn't gonna walk this far, but there's like a super juicy spot coming up. It's the jetty that the guy was talking about. It's way deeper. There's like a ton of guys fishing it, but I think this is what they are calling the Santa, Santa Ana River, I think. That's flowing in right here. But I just keep staring at it and it just looks super juicy. 
but I'm on a deep hole right here too. Probably one of the deepest ones I've seen so far. So we're gonna throw right here and see if there's anything swimming around this deep hole. All this fresh water coming in. I wouldn't, I don't know. I didn't ask him about stripers, but I wouldn't be surprised to see some stripers around here. Being that you got a fresh water inlet right here. Oh, there's a bite. 